Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. Oh my gosh, it's right there. I got it. Dang silver bug bit me. Not really. But I'm opening mill from Bit by the Silver Bug. So I figured I'd do a fun intro there. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got going on. <laughs> I really like your name, by the way, Bit by the Silver Bug. Right, let's hear this. Dear International Stacker, I saw the video you did getting Bra Brass Junkies Gaw Tax for one of Jazz's Gaws. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, first off, Gaw means give away, okay? And I do a lot of alerts on my channel, so 80-something percent of you guys are not subscribed, so hit that subscribe button, you too can learn about giveaways. So whenever I do a giveaway, I joke saying, um, if you win because I told you you owe me Gaw Tax, you have to cut that coin in tents and send me my 10%. One day, someone actually PayPal'd me like 62 cents. It was really funny. Um, let's see what it says. Uh, Brass Junkies God Tax for one of Jass's, just another average stackers. Check him out. Uh, Gauze. And I realized, oh, crap. I too owe us a God, a God Tax for one of Jass's birthday gauze. I don't need the God Tax IRS getting involved. So here you go, buddy. Love your videos and keep them coming. Your friend, Bit. Buy the silver bug. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have got a gaw tax. Okay, I'm gonna have to rip your letter, but I'm gonna save that part here. Okay, I executed that properly. Oh, you did an excellent job here. Get me in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're in. Okay. So first off, looks like we got a silver 1964 that is a 90% uh, dime. What was I calling these dimes? Oh, I was calling them. I was calling them Eisenhower's in a couple of videos like a long time ago, and people always troll me over it. Eisenhower, it's Rosie Roosevelt, so <laughs> cool and dime. And we got a standing Liberty quarter here, but I'm gonna try to get it out so we can take a look at it. So this was a very um, risque coin, and I believe it wasn't Roosevelt. Who was it? It might have been Roosevelt. I don't know. Correct me. I'm sure you'll destroy me in the comments below. But they said our coinage was boring. So this coin, it's a bit worn, but actually was um, designed with one exposed booby. Um, and it was exposed. And I said that word on purpose so YouTube doesn't censor me. Um, it was done. And there was a huge backlash in the United States over people were angry uh, that you had an exposed woman on the coin. So um, I'm not sure what exactly else happened to that story but i know it caused a lot of drama so this is called a standing liberty quarter a lot of times you'll see it online as slq and these coins actually wear very easily and it's very hard to tell the date on a lot of the worn ones because the date was actually raised so it was one of the first things that would rub off the quarter and there's type one and type two and i forget what this one is but if i remember right you can tell by the stars so Anyways, thank you so much, Bit by Silverbug, for paying your god tax. Because no one wants the international stacker IRS knocking on your door. Let me fix this. Okay, that's, I just had, okay, that's better. Anyways, thank you so much, Bit by Silverbug. You guys, check them out, Bit by Silverbug. And he sent me some sweet silver. If you want to send me something, my. Peel box is in the description below, um, and I'll open it, even if it's just a cool postcard. I've got a cool, I got one cool postcard. Um, and also, please subscribe. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again so much, Bit by Silver Bug, and we'll say, catch you on the next one.